With just a few more weeks left until Christmas, we expect present buying to kick into full gear, and we found an eight out of 10 ranking stock that could put a ribbon on your portfolio. This year we'll see more sales online with credit cards as a preferred method of payment, and that's why we weren't surprised to see credit card company searches rise over the last few weeks in Trackstar, our proprietary sentiment database, especially from financial pros. And while Visa and MasterCard topped the search results, it was American Express that drew our attention. Warren Buffett has never been shy about owning a huge stake in American Express, which currently sits at a $23 billion valuation. But is that all you need to know before investing? Now, American Express isn't just a credit card company. It also holds loans, and the company has over 56 million cards in the US, controlling nearly 19% of the domestic credit card market. The company has experienced significant and consistent growth over the years and is financially stable. And despite the softness in the economy, the company has not experienced changes in spending behavior from its customers, as it primarily caters to clients with high credit scores and ultra high net worth individuals. And while American Express has a high PE gap ratio, it's cheaper than its main competitors, Visa and MasterCard. And it trades at a price to sales ratio of 2.4x, which is notably better than most of its peers, save Capital One at 1.28x. The company boasts an impressive 31.7% return on equity, but that's not nearly as impressive as MasterCard and Visa, and it generates more cash from operations than any of its peers with the exception of Visa at $18.9 billion. While many economists predict a recession in 2023, American Express has yet to experience a slowdown and has seen year-over-year -year revenue growth of 20.5%, landing just shy of MasterCard and Visa. The company has been in business for 172 years and has weathered many economic cycles and it shouldn't have a problem with the next downturn. And there's a reason why it's one of Warren Buffett's top holdings. We're buyers in the $140 to $150 range.